here are some things you need to know before dating me. One, there's a strong chance I'm only talking to you because I have reason to believe you might be a Libra. <laughs> Two, your last partner was an Aquarius, and I swear I'm not holding this against you. Three, sometimes I feel like I'm all the pigeons trapped inside of all the subway tunnels in all the major cities of America. Four, whoa, excuse me, I am not new agey. I am a witch. Five, I keep rose quartz in my left pocket for when I am scared, black tourmaline in my right in case of haters. Six, sometimes I open up Grinder on my phone, and if I haven't received a new dick pic that day, I get kind of sad. <laughs> Seven, today my therapist led me in a breathing exercise, and when I exhaled, I suddenly remembered that I'm inside an actual human body, and this terrified me so much that I burst into tears right in front of her and then canceled all future appointments. <laughs> Eight, I have a PhD in talking to the trees at night. Nine, my job skills include living alone on a farm and asking horses to make my decisions for me. Ten, I like long walks on the beach directly into the bottom of the ocean. <laughs> Eleven, all I ever did my whole life was Indiana Jones, one misery for another. Twelve, one of the worst things you can do to me is tell me there was nothing wrong because I seem so happy. Thirteen, yes, I know I'm a chicken nugget made of crazy. Fourteen, sometimes I let my phone die and I envy it. Fifteen, this morning I woke up at 5 a.m., scarfed down a whole bag of Swedish fish, and then passed right back out again. Sixteen, I'm not sure how much longer I can do this. Seventeen, despite my best efforts, I am real. Eighteen, don't you dare try and figure me out. Too many people have claimed they can read me like a book, and then they went and put me on a shelf. 19, when the doctors put me on Prozac, I suddenly didn't need to sleep anymore. I remember getting up out of bed every day before the sunrise, scrambling to correct a whole life's worth of unfixed problems. I knew it was mania because I signed up for a gym membership. <laughs> it wasn't me, chugging Red Bull, blasting death grips in my headphones, dancing down mass abs, smiling at everyone for no reason. It scared me. 20. Now that I'm not on Prozac anymore, my bed is once again a black hole that I cannot climb out of. It took me months to be here right now in front of you, but I can feel myself craving for that rush again. You see, it is too dangerous for people like me to know that kind of speed. All that lightning trapped inside of my mouth, I promise. I promise you every day I am trying to teach my tongue how to forget how that tastes.